Hello and welcome to my tutorial on Quest and in this first tutorial we're going to be looking at how to create a new game and having a little look at the interface of Quest and how to find your way around. So the first thing to notice is this is the splash screen that opens when you run the game, run the program. There are two tabs, the edit tab which allows you to go to a new game, create your own open one that's existing, like one of the ones here, or read the tutorial. You could click play and then access games that you've already that you need to download or you have downloaded but we're interested in creating so we're going to go to edit create a new game and then we're going to think of a name for it haunted house I'm going to call this one click OK and then quest will load and set up your new game now at the beginning you've got a very very simple interface down the left hand side you've got what we call the object tree which shows all the objects in your game remember objects could mean actual objects like keys uh, knives a map table furniture or, it, or an object could be a room it could be um, an exit or it could even be a player or a character so in my game at the moment you can see that I've got one room which is called room and within room is the player and we say when one object is inside another like player is inside room we say that room is the parent of player now if I want to add things to the game and of course I would do I can use the, the tools along here I've got a tool here to add a room and a tool here to add an object and I can add things as well from the add menu at the top it's also worth noting that along this top menu this is the play button which we use if we want to run and test our game so what we'll do just to finish off this tutorial is, is change the name of the first room that we're in and show how to run the game so I'm going to click on room and the first thing I want to do is change the name of this room because it's a bit boring if it's just called room so I'm going to call it hallway and then I'm going to click on the room tab here and it gives me an option of giving a description and I want to do a very simple one you are in a dark hallway a light fitting swings ceiling but the bulb has long since died Stairs lead up and there are doors in all directions. Okay. Not brilliant, but that will do for the moment. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to see what happens when the when that game runs, what we would see. Now we haven't added exits, we're going to do that in the next tutorial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the play button. It's going to ask me if I want to save. So I'm going to click yes and there is what we have the game runs with my description of my room and at the moment the, the player is carrying nothing so inventory is empty there, is n there are no objects to look at and the c none of the directions on the compass section are lit up because we haven't added any exits but we know at least our game runs so if we want to carry on creating it which we do we would go to file stop game and then we can continue to edit and in our next tutorial we'll look at adding some more rooms and some exits that will do for now